Hey guys, Splice Wave here, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to install and play PlayStation Home Offline on PC. But before I start, I just want to make something clear. You will need a PC with decent hardware specs for this, so things such as frame rate and resolution may not be the same for you. But anyways, let's get on with it. So the setup for this is pretty easy. First off, you need to have WinRAR on your PC, which most people nowadays have, it's 2021. But if you don't, then visit the WinRAR download link, which is in the video description. And once you have WinRAR installed, then copy this Google Drive link into your browser. So for this, I'm going to use Google Chrome. And just simply do that. And here we are on this Google Drive link. Now, the only thing we're going to download here is this. Destination Home 1.86, that's the version of PlayStation Home it is. RPCS3 Offline Client 3.0.RAR. So we're just going to... Click on it, download, yep, obviously do that, and once it's done, we'll come back to here. Okay, now it's done, so let's open it up in WinRAR, like so. As you can see, it's just going to read it, let's exit full screen, close that, don't worry about it, and we'll open up File Manager, like this, just get it so we can get both on the screen at the same time like so and then you might have one drive you might have two drives you might have ten it doesn't matter but select one of them I recommend C drive as I'm going to do go on here as you can see this is what we call the root of the C drive now what you do is you take this folder called PlayStation Home and you drag and drop it there and then this will do its trick and then when it's done we'll continue on okay so now that that's done Let's go into that folder and we'll look for something called rpcs3.exe. Simply open it up just like so. It'll open like this. Now, this here is very important. Do not update this, alright? The reason you don't, no matter how old it is, is if you do, this version of PlayStation Home will not work, okay? You won't be able to load into anything if you click yes. So, Every time you boot up, just click no. Now then, this part here you don't have to do, but I highly recommend you do, as it will be a lot more convenient for you. So what you do is, go down here, pin this application to your taskbar in order to save you having to go through File Explorer and open up RPCS3 that way. And now you need to decide if you want to play on a keyboard or mouse. You can change this at any time if you want, but right now, when you download it, it will be automatically set up to work with a PS4 controller and not a keyboard. But if you want to change it, let's say you want to go with keyboard, or if you don't have a PS4 controller but have something else, you go up to here, you go to pads, then you go to handlers. As you can see, set to dual shock. And then obviously we go to keyboard for example, and then we'd adjust it like so. And then we'd click save. Obviously, I'm not doing that, I'm using a controller for this. Then from there, it's just as simple as double clicking PlayStation Home and off it starts. But before I go, there is one thing I'd like to show you. So when you boot it up, there is something to note. When you load into a space for the first time, for example, Acorns Meadow Park, it's going to be a bit weird. So obviously you're going to have to press circle, or if you're on keyboard, whatever button you set a circle, to go off this. And as you can see, it looks a bit pixelated doesn't look very nice but there is a fix to it you press F5 on your keyboard even if you're on controller like I am right now press F5 and it looks much better it doesn't fix every graphical issue like for example this this dead sun in the water it's always gonna be there this this isn't something that's wrong with the files it's something that's wrong with the actual emulator itself so unfortunately I cannot fix this so that brings us to the end of the video and I hope you all did enjoy it and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.